Chin wada 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 bang, guess what guys, it's your boy the Super Kamikaze, back from vacation, TSK, streaming all day, sick flow rhymes, anyway guys, jokes aside, I'm rather sorry for leaving without notice, but I am back and no one unsubscribed, so that's the spirit I like to see, and I'm gonna hopefully make this up for you and give you great tips and tricks on this map and how to use this weapon. Now, this weapon, I absolutely hate it, it is atrocious, it is probably the, one of the worst SMGs for me. Are down there with the CBJMS, but I even find that thing better than the bloody Vepa. So, what I like to run on the Vepa is suppressor and rapid fire. Now, the reason for that is the Vepa, very weak gun. I don't want to be facing people face to face a lot, so I'm gonna put on the suppressor over the muzzle brake just for the fact that it allows me to be stealthy and pick people off from behind. Less gunfires that I have to win with the Vepa, and you know, just better. It's better off for me. And then the rapid fire. This gun is very weak. So I like to just fire a lot of bullets so you know you're dealing more damage because you're hitting more bullets into them at a faster rate. And it's just it's something you're gonna want to run rather than Deadeye, because Deadeye I find is a waste of a perk for five point values. So I don't like to run Deadeye, but instead I run rapid fire on this weapon, trust me, works very well. And then in my perk setup, it is very stealthy, stealthy than my most usual setups, and it's a new setup that I really found works perfectly. And you don't really need that many late on perks because a lot of the perks are really, um, you unlock them by default if you choose the stealth default class. So the default perks to start out with are ready up, SMG, you want to be sprinting, whooping out a sprint faster, then steady aim, SMG again, you, you're going to be hip firing more than you're going to be zooming in. Um, not me in this video, I do zoom in a lot, but still, you want steady aim, it helps in those hip fire situations. Then takedown. I don't really run this perk, but I did on this map and with this gun because there's no skulls and the enemies will have no idea that their teammates are dying and they're gonna be like, what? What's going on? And then it's very easy if you just continuously pick them off from behind and that's what you want to do with the Vepa because you're not going to win a lot of face-to-face -face gunfights with this weapon. Unless you're like a point blank, this gun tears to shreds, but that's about it. And then you got dead silence. Lots of people are sound horn in the game, so you want to be silent so they can't hear you walking around sneaking up on them with the Vepa. And then off the grid, another stealth perk because you want to be off the map, especially because there's a lot of new people on the game. They don't know the maps. You want to be hidden from them as much as possible, and it allows you to maneuver these maps and get behind them and pick them off from behind again because this gun sucks like this face to face combat. And then sit rep because there's IEDs everywhere. You want to know where they are just to, so you can avoid them. And then in my strike package, I only have two perks in it before I hit specialist. And the way to do that is select your three perks. So pick two perks that you want to earn in your strike package. And then just pick some third useless perk. And then choose the eight points you want to use after that. And then go back and click the useless perk. And it'll disappear and there'll only be two perks in your strike package until you hit specialist. So I run Amplify and Scavenger because sound horn in this game is absolutely easy as you could do it, anyone could do it. You don't even need headset. And the sounds are absolutely brilliant. So I recommend sound horn. And then Scavenger because rapid fire on an SMG, you're going to be running out of ammo very fast, especially with this weak SMG. You're going to be firing more bullets than usual. And then in my specialist, once I hit it, Slate of Hand. Blast Shield and Hardline and Focus. Now, Slate of Hand, SMG, running around. You want to be relearning fast, right back in the action. Focus, you can switch this out. I just don't have a lot of perks right now, so that's why I'm running Focus. Blast Shield, again, you want to survive explosives. Hardline, just one off that chem strike. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty content. Anyway, peace. Kamikaze out.